people, I have to tell people that I have Parkinson's. Nobody would ever believe it. So it's, 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 it's big. Uh, since the treatment, uh, I've always been active and uh, play golf. My lowest golf score was a 77. And since then I have shot even par. I, I don't have the shakes and tremors. So that makes a big difference. And, and being able to walk 18 holes, the physical liabilities that, that incur on, on most people with Parkinson's, you just can't do that. Oh, it's remarkable. Before, he had trouble walking. Ever since he's come back the last time, he's like his old self. Well, I've known Steve for about, I'd say, I'd say about 10 years now, but I've been playing golf with him for a number of years too, and that's where I've uh, noticed most of his affliction. You know, you could see the similarities to, uh, who's the actor that had Parkinson? Michael Fox, I think, and uh, so he had a lot of those same things, a shakiness and, and whatnot. And then, uh, I guess it was probably two to three weeks ago, I saw Steve out here play, and he wasn't playing with our group, but I saw him, I, I saw somebody that I thought might be Steve. Everyone in the group commented, uh, that looks like Steve. No, because he wasn't, you know, having trouble getting started walking. And I, and I thought, no, that, that, that's not Steve, because he was, he was walking normally. And so, uh, sure enough, it was him, and second. Good shot. And uh, it was obvious that something had happened. And now he's uh, really walking just, just like the rest of us. It really appears to be mir miraculous. Now he's shooting, he's playing better than the rest of us. And uh, so he's, uh, he's had a dramatic improvement. I have a wonderful physical therapist. Most patients are progressive with, with the Parkinson's, but um, his spirits are high, I think, and um, he's very encouraged, I think, by the treatment, so he's working hard to, to continue to improve. I actually bowled last week, bowled 278, which is the highest game I've ever bowled in my life. You know, you'd ask me if, if my doctor knew, and I told you I, I never told him because he had mentioned to me that if he could take me to a convention, that he would win Doctor of the Year because I was doing so good. Steve's story is somewhat unique. During this investigation, I found that not everyone with Parkinson's got better. Fetal stem cells only appeared to help those with Parkinson's who were recently diagnosed, usually within one to two years, like Steve and the case of Carolyn Porter. So my husband and I sat down at the table and I remember that night that I took my fork and I started to take a bite and my hand started trembling, trembling so bad that I couldn't stop. I took the left hand and I finally was able to take a bite. Well, for a year and a half, I had been going to my computer every single night and I would type in Parkinson disease and stem cell popped up on my computer. And I thought, I didn't type in stem cell. What is stem cell? I had gotten to the point that I couldn't walk and I certainly couldn't talk. I went in May of 2013. When I came through the airport, everything was in a wheelchair. They told me there were no guarantees. So we, we were wide open. We knew there were no guarantees. And they said it would be up to six months probably if the stem cell helped me. Well, we finished the treatment on a Saturday and we came back to the hotel and uh, we left on a Sunday. Going home, I said to my husband, I think I can walk. He said, oh, no, no, you can't walk. She informed me on the way home that I didn't need to help her, that she could get up and walk on her own, and she did, which was very surprising. We got to the, to the airplane, and I just could tell that I was getting better. Three days after I had the stem cell treatment, I just started speaking correctly. All of a sudden, it was like everything stopped. It was like there were no more tremors, there were more, no more head shaking. It was maybe 10 days after she got back. She got out of her car and I literally, I mean, it just, I, I had cold chills because she could walk. 
We sat down. Her hands did not move. She did not jerk. She could carry on a conversation without stuttering. And we both just sat and cried. And I promise you, everything stopped. I was well. And I was the most happiest person in the world. I played the piano all the time. Well, for two years, I couldn't play the piano. I'm just, I'm not a really good pianist. My thing when I get home from work, the first thing I do is turn the news on and watch it. And while well, I'm sitting in my easy chair, but I always get interrupted by Carolyn playing the piano, which interferes with my television viewing. Considering the fact that she is being able to play the piano is, is a good reason that I don't have to, have to watch the news every night. My doctor was, he just couldn't believe it. He calls me his miracle patient. So I don't need any medication anymore.